Hello everyone, I'm Tony Moore and I'm here at the 49th Annual Daytime Emmys and I am here with Black Excellence. We have Sal Stowers, Raven Bowens, and of course the nominee for lead actor in a drama series, James Reynolds. How is it, first of all, you all look amazing. Um, Sal, I know that um, it was just announced that you are leaving Days of Our Lives, which I have to first off say that you have brought so much to the show. And I know how hard you work on the show and the things that you do, you know, to portray the character of Lonnie. Um, what will you miss most about portraying this dynamic character on the show? Oh, wow. Um, you know, Lonnie is very, very special to me. Um, trying to make me cry. No, um, not at all. <laughs> um, I have, I, I was able to build her up from the floor, um, you know, creating her, like I know her like the back of my hand. Um, so I'm going to miss telling her story. I genuinely love her story, the good, the bad, the flaws, the ugly, the pretty. Um, she's a powerful woman and she didn't, she didn't start that way, you know. I feel like she came into Salem and she was kind of timid and didn't really like know who she was and wasn't really taken seriously, maybe. And she really proved herself. Like I worked so hard on making her, a sh giving her a strong voice and having her fight for everything that she believes in. So that's what I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss the families that you know I've been able to have and dive into and, and be a part of um, and also the family you know the family dynamic of just like her husband and the kids like that whole part and we didn't really even get to do much of that you know especially with Carver and Jules so I'm really gonna miss that um, but I love Lonnie and she's here and for that I'm proud I am truly proud and honored to have been the woman chosen to walk in Lonnie's shoes. I mean, forever stapled in soap history as the first black couple to get married on screen. Um, and then we have finally the second to finally happen, happen this week. Um, for you, uh, James, uh, being on the show a as long as you have, what did that mean to you to finally have the character of Abe do that? Earlier, the importance of history. And, and the last time I got married, it was at a roadhouse somewhere on the way to Chicago. I don't know. I just assumed we pulled off for gas and... They had a sign up there, Elvis will marry you now. So that's, <laughs> so it was, it, this, uh, yeah, it's very important. I'm, I'm always keenly aware, you know, you get those letters from people and, and now emails and uh, different things of how important you are to their lives. People that you've never met, never will meet, but you've, you've had a moment where you touch their lives and that is something that, that is very important to me. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna say this for the fans. I haven't been very active on social media lately, but I've kind of checked in the past couple days since you know it's been out that I'm no longer on the show. Um, you fans are absolutely amazing. I cannot tell you all of the beautiful words and just support and love that you guys have given to myself, to Lamone. I will take it for the rest of my life. Like, thank you. Like, they have. I mean, I'm literally reading Twitter, and I'm just like, I didn't know that I touched so many lives, and that's why I do this: is to touch the lives of others, to shed light. And it made me realize that I did that with my seven years of being on Days. I mean, seven years—that's that's an impact that you have. So I'm glad that I'm glad that, and keep flooding her and letting her know how how much she's loved. Now, speaking of love, there's a lot of love happening. <laughs> with uh, Chanel, um, you have not one, but two, and then they twins, and they brothers and sisters. Um, how, I mean, you, you have literally, when you started the show, you have gotten thrown in with some very interesting storylines. Um, how has now this dynamic been for you, having two people fighting for the love of Miss Chanel Dupree? Oh, I love it. <laughs> like, attention? Um, yeah, no, I, I really love it because at the beginning, I was a part of a different triangle where I was on the other end with, uh, with Allie and Tripp. And so I was, like, kind of, like, 
softly kind of fighting for her attention and her love, but then uh, now being on the other side of it and being like, hmm, what do I want to do? And just like, it, it's fun. It's fun like to have the choice in your hands. Uh, and and I love that like they're that they're brother and sister and that they're twins. Even though it's scandalous, it's like I'm like Chanel has a type. She has a type. <laughs> with, with it being uh, Pride Month, you know we have seen a lot of LGBTQ plus uh, representation on the show. For you, how important is it to continue telling that story through this character in hopes of touching, you know, someone who's out there who might be struggling with, with their sexuality and, and making sure you're authentic in telling Chanel's story? Like, how important is it to have that visibility on this show? Well, representation is so, so, so important. And uh, we actually, uh, Lindsay and I are the first lesbian couple on the show. And so, like, we had the first girl, girl on girl kiss on the show. And, like, you know, so it's been such a... Um, it's just been such an honor to be able to do that and to be able to be that representation. And I think the authenticity is like really important to like keep it like truthful and to like be very, um, to be very honest um, in the portrayal because it's the first time it's being done. I also think it's getting to be shown um, in a lot of people's homes who may not see it because you know, daytime is a different crowd a lot of times than nighttime, primetime. So, and it's all, it's on primetime a lot, but daytime not as much. And so, um, it's it's really an honor. And I know other shows have have done it and stuff like that. But for us to get to do it on the show, it's it's um, it's been such a it feels like a privilege. <laughs> now, um, first of all, I am rooting for you, James, to to take yeah. to take home the trophy a, again this year. Yes. Um, for for. Yeah, for for you, what what legacy would you like to leave on the show? Not that I'm pushing Abe Carver out of Salem by any means, but but when you when you look back at at, at your career, like what what's the legacy that you would like to leave uh, with the show? Good question, actually, that's an excellent question. Um, some of it's been achieved. I think some of it has been achieved. You know, these folks are are here now. I've fought for years for that. And uh, in, in, in daytime television at large, and I, I think that's one of the legacies. I, I I've been there when there haven't been other people of color, whether black or Asian or Hispanic, and I think uh, part of the reason I've been there, honestly, part of the reason is that I keep looking around, not only on our show but on other shows, and there wasn't anybody else. Christoph and I were together on Generations, and then he moved over to YNR, and I moved to he was my son there, as you know. And uh, I moved back to days, and I, and I think that's important. Uh, you know, one of the most important things that we have to realize is that uh, we all looked at this as, as kids and wanted to grow up. We didn't see anybody look like us, or very few. And um, so to now be that person that people are looking at and, and uh, they're admiring you for hopefully your talent and what you're bringing, but also how you're conducting yourself, and um, that's important to me. Yeah. Now, before before I let you go, uh, I'm going to say one name, and you have to tell me what it's been like working with this legendary woman, Jack A. Herring. <laughs> how has it been having her a part of this this cast so far? And coming on and like first being auntie and now you know playing playing your mother, yeah. How how has that been having her a part of it? Oh man, um, I love Jackie from the day that I met her. I mean, from the moment I found out that her and Chanel were or Ch Raven were coming onto the show, um, I was so excited because one, I've pretty besides Vanessa, like I, it usually was me as a you know, female black lead on our show carrying carrying the way. So then to get these beautiful women in was just so exciting. Um, but I actually love that I got to play, like she was my auntie P and then she was my mom, you know? So I love the dynamic of the two because with her being, you know, my auntie Paulina, it was a little bit more fun and, and feisty and, you know, kind of all over the place and then you saw the more the more vulnerable side between the two of them, realizing that they were mother and daughter. So, I loved it. I think she is fabulous, and I love seeing her when she comes in the studio. And she's like, "Hey, Sal, my Sal, my fabulous Sal!" Like, she just makes me so happy. Yeah, she's bundle of energy, she you know. But, but these two as well are just tremendous. They're just, you know, the talent that 
they bring to us is just fantastic. And Jack Hay, it slides right in there. I remember on my first day when I worked with you, uh, we had like a quick scene, and I remember I was like, oh my God, your voice, I love your voice. <laughs> yeah. And then I remember you said, it's your first day? And I said, yeah, and you were like, you're gonna fit right in. Right. And you walked off, right and I was like, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I can't thank you guys enough for, for being such great representations, uh, especially for, for me as, you know, 14-year-old Tony in Columbia, South Carolina, growing up and falling in love with days and, and continuing to see, you know, people like, like you, James, and then just growing, you know, th this family and being able to finally, you know, feel like I have some relatable faces. So thank you guys for, for what you have done. Thank truly, you. truly appreciate you guys. Hey, I'm always here for the ride. <laughs> thank you guys.